The Old Testament has some real interesting stories in it, and especially Genesis. The last set of 10 questions from Carl Shoup's book, Test Your Bible Knowledge, dealt with Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot and his two daughters and the origin of the Moabites. The Moabites, they're referred to many times throughout the Old Testament, and here in Genesis is where we get their origin story. Well, since the book's questions follow the books of the Bible, the next set of 10 questions continues to cover Genesis. They are multiple choice type questions with four answer choices, and I looked ahead, and I'll be in Genesis for about another 40 or so questions. I've just finished reading the book of Genesis, so I hope most of this material is still fresh in my mind. Um, But anyways, I'm ready, and I'm going to start with the next question, and it's question 61. Question 61. Beersheba was A, a dissolute queen from the region of the Upper Nile, B, the well of the oath where Abraham made a covenant with the local king, C, a desert region of the Negeb, south of Kadesh, or D, Isaac's older daughter. It is not D, and it is not C, I don't think, and I think that it is B for 61. I'm going to go with B, the well of the oath. All right, 62. On their way to the place of sacrifice, Isaac said to his father, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the A, water, B, rope, C, lamb, or D, altar? And I think the answer here is C, lamb. Question 63. As Abraham was about to slay Isaac, he looked up, having heard an angel call from heaven, and saw A, the Lord, B, the angel, C, a ram, or D, Ishmael. Here again, not D, it's not Ishmael. I believe that it is C, a ram. 64. God will provide refers to the fact that he provided Abraham with a A, son, B, food, C, descendants, or D, ram? And I believe the answer here is D, ram. 65. At the watering place, Abraham's servant selected Rebekah as the one he would ask to marry Isaac because A, she offered both him and his camels a drink, B, she knew enough to refrain from offering water to camels, or C, She gave him a drink at his request and offered water for the camels. Or D, she warned the servant that the water was not potable. And the correct answer here, I believe, is A, she offered both him and his camels a drink. Question 66. When Isaac was born to him, Abraham was in his old age at 100 years. Abraham died at the age of A, 102 years, B, 133 years, C, 175 years, or D, 361 years. Oh my goodness, I am going to go with letter D, 361 years. Question 67. Ishmael lived longer than A. Sarah, B. Abraham, C. Adam, or D. Methuselah? Okay, I'm having to guess again here. Um, It is not C. Adam and it's not D. Methuselah. So it's either A. Sarah or B. Abraham. And I am leaning towards A, Sarah. So we'll have to see what the correct answer is there. Question 68. When Jacob followed Esau out of his mother's womb, he was gripping Esau's A, 
ankle, B, heel, C, wrist, D, hair. This one I think is pretty easy. I think it's A, ankle. 69. The reason Esau gave for selling his birthright to Jacob for bread and pottage was that he, A, knew of the Lord's prophecy that he would serve Jacob, B, disliked responsibility, C, thought Jacob could not prove the bargain, or D, thought he was about to die. The answer for this one is not A, knew the Lord's prophecy that he would serve Jacob. That's not the answer. And uh, B, I don't think it's disliked responsibility. That, I don't recall reading about that. C, thought Jacob could not prove the bargain. Um, I don't think that's it either. D, thought he was about to die. I think that is the correct answer here. D, thought he was about to die. Question 70. When Isaac moved to Gerar, he passed his wife Rebekah off as his sister because A. She was his sister. B. He was afraid that otherwise the men would kill him to get her. C. Sister was a generic term in the Geraric for female companions generally. D. She would have a wider social life. Okay, here again, we have this um, where one of the patriarchs is trying to pass his wife off as his sister. And now the correct reason this time, I don't believe is A. Um, I think it is probably B. He was afraid that otherwise the men would kill him to get her. Okay, that is the last question. Okay, now I will turn back to the back of the book where the answers are provided for me and I'll see how many of these I answered correctly. I have to say, I had trouble with this set of 10. Um, I didn't remember some of the answers. I, I remember the stories, but I don't remember the particulars uh, about the stories. So let's see how many... I was able to get correct. All right, 61, I answered B, and the correct answer is B, so that's correct. 62, correct answer C, and I also answered C. 63, the correct answer is C, and I answered C. 64, correct answer D. And I put D down as my answer also. That's good. 65, the correct answer is C. And I selected A. So I'm going to turn back and reread question 65 and see what happened here. Okay, this is the one about the watering place. And the question was at the watering place, Abraham's servant selected Rebecca as the one he would ask to marry Isaac because I selected A. She offered both him and his camels a drink. Correct answer, C. She gave him a drink at his request and offered water for the camels. Okay, so I was close, but still wrong. 66. I answered D. Correct answer, C. Okay, missed that one. That question, ah, it is about the age of, um, let's see, of Abraham when he died. Question says, when Isaac was born to him, Abraham was in his old age at 100 years. Abraham died at the age of, I selected D, 361. Correct answer, 175. Okay, 67. The correct answer is A, and thankfully I answered A also. 68, the correct answer, B, and I selected A. So let's take a look at 68, and this one, oh, I was pretty confident about this one. It is the one about Jacob and Esau. When Jacob followed Esau out of his mother's womb, he was gripping Esau's, I marked A, ankle, 
but the book says it's B, heel. So here again, very close, but not right. Okay, question 69, correct answer D. I answered D. And question number 70, correct answer B. And I marked B. So let's see how many I missed. And the total that I missed is three. Okay, three out of 10. And that is a 70%. That's not very good. Um, it's lower than what I would like to get, which is 100%. But um, we'll, we'll try again next time. The questions they ask for some really good detail. So I'll have to remember as I go through my reading to try to pick up on some of these details, although there are a lot of details and specifics in the Bible. Okay, so the next set of 10, I'm pretty sure will be about Jacob and um, probably Rachel. And uh, we'll just continue with this and see if I can get them all right next time.